We're back! Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm sorry for the lack of videos this summer and for not having a Swedish lesson earlier on. It's just because I have had vacation and I work quite a lot. Anyway, anyways, my summer vacation is over. My last clip earlier this week, you can see it. It's just a couple of minutes long. Uh, you can see what I went on my two weeks vacation. Um, anyways, uh, we're back uh, to a new episode of Ray Ray's Swedish Lessons! Woo you who haven't seen this, I want to see the earlier videos, just go down in the description and I, I link them all from lesson one. And anyways, for this lesson, we're gonna do... Greetings! Yay! And greetings in Swedish is hälsningar. So we're gonna start with some greetings when you see each other. And I already went through hi with you. That's hey in Sweden. You can get by in Sweden by saying hi too because everybody knows what it means. Old, young, it's kind of similar to our hey. And then we have hello. And that's not so hard. It's hello. It's kind of the same. And after that we have good day. And good day in Swedish is uh, good dag. So it's like word for word translated. You used hi a lot, and hi in Swedish is hey, like I told you right now. And you can say tjena, cha, everything like that in Swedish too, that's also hi. It's just, uh, oh, I don't know what it's called. Um, I'm gonna check it up and like put it down here, what it is. So. Uh, that's for the greeting part. And then we have the splitting up after you had a coffee or something like that. And you say goodbye or bye. Just bye. And that's in Swedish is hey då. Then you have farewell. And farewell is farewell. Farewell. And you can say in Sweden adieu. That's not a lot of people that use it. And when you say adieu in Sweden, you kind of like mean it, bye, don't see you later, don't want to know you, it's goodbye forever, like, farewell is, yeah, well, you don't use that either, that much right now, it's, hey do always, kind of, I haven't heard anybody say far, farewell or adieu in a couple of years. So it's not that commonly used, but it's in Swedish, so you got it there. And well, that's kind of everything you have to say, oh, like hi and goodbye. And then we have the sentences. You have one uh, when you say hi, nice to meet you. Uh, hey, trevligt att träffas. So, the sentence nice to meet you is trevligt att träffas. Like, see you later uh, when you part from someone. And you say that in Sweden too. It's like, um, see you later is translated to vi ses senare. That's the correct translator. Uh, but if you say it like vi ses, that's the same uh, meaning. So 
Så see you later. Vi ses senare. Vi ses. Uh, something like that. Uh, you can say in Swedish. I can go through them again. Just so you have something and I'm gonna try to pronounce them really good. So at first we have hi. Hey. Hello. Hallå. Good day. God dag. Goodbye. Bye. Hej då. Farewell. Farväl. Adjö. See you later. Vi ses senare. Vi ses. Nice to meet you. Trevligt att träffas. Så, that's all the words we have for... Uh, words and sentences we have for today. Uh, I go quite a little bit and I hope you want to uh, learn more and if you have some suggestions or something you want to learn like always leave a comment below if you want to have more lessons stay tuned subscribe and please give a thumbs up I really love doing these videos for you guys so Please subscribe, follow me around, I'll post more Swedish lessons during this year and um, hopefully you get to know a lot and my videos is helping you a lot. So. I'll see you later, I promise you I'm gonna fix this and I'm gonna post a video every week. I hope. But anyways, until next time, see you later. Love you all, darlings. Bye!